Hi everyone, Greeno here. Welcome to another episode here on my Greeno Eats channel. Now it's Friday evening as I record this. Work is done for the week and I'm here at Greeno Towers feeling a bit peckish. As we all know, Friday night can only mean one thing, right? It's fish and chips time. So, I guess by now folks, most of you will already have seen the video where I went down to Weymouth and bought a lovely mackerel bap from a fish and chip shop called Bennett's. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out from the link above there. Now, I have discovered that on a Friday night they have a mobile chip van that goes around and it actually stops not too far away from where I live. So, to treat myself, like I say, it is Friday night after all, I'm going to head on down there, pick up some of their fish and chips and see how it compares to what they offered me in their shop. I cannot wait for this one. Really hungry. So I've just pulled up at the location where the chip truck is situated. There's already a waft. You know that familiar smell you get from fish and chips cooking? Got that in the background now. Oh yeah. Looking forward to this for sure. Right then folks, so what I ordered from Bennett's chip truck was a cod and chips, a curry sauce, and one of my personal favorite little accompaniments to go with it, a pickled egg. I can't wait to get these home and show you what they look like. lovely evening here down in Dorset like I say Friday evening why not sit in the garden and eat your dinner seems like a good plan doesn't it and I think that little bit of b-roll you've seen of what I've got <laughs> you'd probably be looking forward to this as much as I am let's get stuck into it let's take a look at the cod first of all you can see here nice oh, it's very flaky you can see falling out of the batter there lovely white fish there the batter doesn't feel greasy at all. It's very crispy. I don't know if you can pick that up on the microphone. But yeah, let's give it a try. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's nice and moist. The batter's not heavy at all. It's one of the things I don't like about fish and chips sometimes, when the batter is either heavy and doughy or kind of too greasy, but this is kind of a very light coating. Really tasty fish, it's skinless cod. Let's give it another bite. Mm. It's a nice chunky bit of fish too. That batter is lovely and crispy, like I say, without being greasy at all. Mmm. I really like that. Moving on to the chips. So, here we go. It's a nice, thick, chunky chip you can see here. Focusing in on that just about okay. Nice and lightly coloured. So it's not been overcooked. Let's see how it is in the middle. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Just the right kind of just crisp on the outside. Lovely chunky chip. It's cooked all the way through. Mmm. With that salt and vinegar. I always like to add the salt and vinegar myself at home. I find that, you know, if you put vinegar on when you're bringing it at home, it kind of soaks in and makes it all a bit soggy. Right. 
doing that at home. Vinegar first, mind. You put the salt on first, then it's just going to wash it off. <laughs> Always put your vinegar first, then put your salt on. But yeah, these are delicious. Really good. Moving on, let's try this curry sauce. Now, I didn't even see here, it's a really kind of thick, gelatinous curry sauce. A lot of places you go, the curry sauce is quite thin, but this really isn't, is it? Look, it's almost like a sort of jelly. <laughs> let's get a chip and give it a try. There you go, dunk it in. Oh, you're going to get a really good coating on there, aren't you? Look at that. Oh, yeah, smells good. Mmm. Oh, that is great. That really is delicious. Like I say, nice and thick, so it really coats the chip well. It's not too spicy. Um, just a sort of gentle kind of chip shop curry sauce heat. A little bit fruity, a little bit sweet. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that is one of the best curry sauces I've had from a chip shop. Really, really nice. Mm. So, we all have vinegar on our chips, don't we? But do we all have something pickled with it? I'm quite partial to a pickled onion with fish and chips, or even a big pickled gherkin. You know the ones that we call wallies? But my personal favourite is the pickled egg, and here it is. So it's just a hard-boiled egg that you put in vinegar for a couple of months, <laughs> and it comes out absolutely delicious. Mmm. It's a real treat. When I was younger, we used to have these, and you'd get them from the bar in the pub, and you'd put them inside a bag of crisps, and the little bit of vinegar from the outside would kind of coat on the crisps as well. But yeah, that sort of creaminess of the yolk. A sharp pickle of the vinegar. That is a really, really good accompaniment to this. chip butty it is a real british favorite <laughs> everyone around the world thinks we're mad for eating these things why would you put fries into a bread roll <laughs> carb overload but yeah i've been doing this since i was a kid mm -mm -mm. take a look at that it's one of those things Kind of the cheaper the bread, the better. Mm. Yeah, none of your fancy sourdough or cheese and chilli baguettes here. Just a bog standard white hot dog roll. Absolutely perfect. really was excellent <laughs> very very nice way to end the week I say Friday evening sat in the garden with some freshly cooked fish and chips not much beats that in life it has to be said the only thing was maybe the portion size was a bit too big even for me couldn't finish it all maybe I shouldn't have had the chip butty <laughs> then I'd have been all right but yeah that was really good really good I think the fish was excellent it was quite a nice thick piece of cod 
battered nicely like i said before i'm not a big fan of batter so it has to be just right for me to enjoy it and that was just about right the chips were excellent really 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 good the curry sauce i think is some of the best curry sauce i've had and the pickled egg well always a little treat for me i mean if i was to give that a mark out of 10 that's a good solid nine maybe 9.5 really excellent so that's it from me folks for today another excellent experience from bennett's i think i'll be going down to the shop in weymouth again before too long as well <laughs> can't get enough of the place at the moment i hope you enjoyed this little video uh, if you did it'd be great if you could click the little thumbs up button there really helps with the algorithm and all that helps the channel and if you've got any comments about what you've seen today particularly your thoughts on the pickled egg <laughs> controversy uh, i'd love to see them in the comment section below and of course if you're not yet subscribed to the channel why not consider clicking that little button and dinging your bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the content coming up on the channel right well that's it from me for today greeno is over and out once again i will see you on the next one bye for now mm -hmm.